I've gotten the file system to work a lot better and the basic to work far better. So um, I have an SD card loaded with some, I've just been playing around so there's a little directory and some binary files and a text file. So essentially what I did is I went onto a computer and wrote basic.txt on the SD card. And, oh, I'm bad. All right. <laughs> Basic.txt. And I added a bunch of new commands, as you'll see in this video. Uh, cat and... So, uh, we can see the program. The Basic doesn't run perfectly, but it does that, does that program pretty well. And so, um, if, if you were looking at my project, um, you'll find that the Basic actually... Um, compiles before it runs. Uh, it's not entirely interpreted, it's more like Java. So what we can do actually do is run the command bc, which is basic compile, uh, basic.txt, and it will overwrite um, this file here, basic.bin, um, and will we'll, uh, compile this basic program so it can be executed. And so it just compiles. Um, and then what we can do is just like in Linux, just the um, dot slash and then basic dot bin and a run. Um, and you see it printed hello world, new line character, and then um, the number is not yet converted to string properly. I'm still working on that. Um, however, I've been working on just about everything else. That's like the least of my worries. So anyway. Uh, we can run the program, and also I made it so the Arduino will automatically compile um, a file which is not a binary file. So if you run the actual basic.txt, it does the same thing. The only difference is, is that when you execute basic.txt in that way, uh, it compiles first, so it's slightly slower and uses more memory. So that's why you would want to do the compiler. Um, and the compiler, the compiled code also runs faster than normal interpreted code, which is why I, I use the compiler. So that's, that's kind of the basic, um, but also we can navigate through our directories. So, uh, if we go cd bin, and then we can list the files there. Uh, there's just one file, another binary file. There's no file or, or a text editor yet. So, um, I have to actually write the programs on the computer. However, we can also display these binary files in a hex format. So, if we type in the file name here, oh, that's wrong, and go, um, we can see the entire program. And I'm not going to go through explaining what all of this does, although I can read it, <laughs> barely. Um, you can see it, it's ASCII strings, basically, and um, so you can display that. Anyway, I've been doing a lot of work on the Arduino desktop file system and BASIC. I just wanted to um, show off my new file system commands and everything I've been working on. When we resolve the directories, we can now do things like dot dot slash bin. If we go change our directory to that, it should go to the previous directory, and then go back into the directory we're currently in. And it does. And we can just do cd dot dot, we'll just go back to the root directory. Um, all my code is on GitHub. All of the latest code uh, is actually on a branch of my usual GitHub um, called cmd. So if we go here, uh, just download this if you want to play with the code, not the actual master branch. So anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed.